This is a Marlin Spike Hitch. This is an incredibly simple knot with two very basic uses. One is just holding something in the air for a little while, and another is a slight adaptation to that, and that is making an improvisational handle. Let's say you have the end over here. Uh, it's tying off to some knot, and you want that knot to be incredibly tight. You can put a marlin spike in very quickly to create handles to be used to tighten up, and then just unthread it and pull it out. Now the very first thing that you have to do, it, as with many of these weirder specialty knots, is determine directionality. So if it's a vertical line and you want this to be just free hanging in the air, then when you make your eye, and it doesn't matter what direction it, it goes because you're just going to have to cross it over. It won't cross over this way, it'll just splay apart. So there's really only one way to do that. You have to make sure that the the complicated crossing is away from the load and the simple crossing is towards the load. Then thread it through, tighten evenly. You don't want it to capsize. And that's it. It will just hold there. It was called a marlin spike hitch because it was used to hold marlin spikes, which are a tool to use in the tying of knots and other things around a ship. They're, they're kind of tapered and icicle shaped. You can all use this to hold any number of things. When you do capsize it by pulling on the wrong end, that will happen. It's important to note that the Marlin Spike is kind of only good for these things that I've listed here. Um, it's not a heavy-duty knot. It's not meant to be permanent. It's not a meant for anything more than just suspending something temporarily or creating a personal scale handle temporarily. And you can always find a better knot for any of the other purposes that you might have. If you want to hold something up in a slightly more permanent fashion, you can fold up a pair of half hitches, for example, to make a clove hitch, one of the other light duty knots. And it's also not perfect, but it will do a whole lot better towards keeping that there overnight. If you're worried about it flapping in the breeze or what have you, then you can give it, maybe you want to use a small constrictor hitch like that, or one of these Miller's knots, if you're worried about the constrictor hitch's tendency to be impossible to untie. There, that'll hold for a very long time if you particularly need it to, and it's not going to slip either. So you could use something like this to be your improv handle. The Marlin Spike is only meant to do what it does very quickly and untie very easily, and it's that un ease of untying that makes it unsuited towards heavy work. All right, if you found this to be useful, helpful, or informative, uh, give me a thumbs up, give me a like to raise my ranking in search results, give me a subscription to see more videos like these in the future, consider checking out some of my other playlists to see more classes of knots besides just something weird and highly specialized like the Marlin's bike. I particularly recommend my uh, shoelace knots. There are very, very quick ways of tying a shoe shoelaces. I'm gonna I'm gonna reserve that for for later on. Go ahead and look at the first uh, video on the playlist there, or if you're watching this on a non-YouTube service, all the links are gonna going to be in the description wherever descriptions are to be had. 
If you wanted to support me in a more direct way, you could visit my shop on Etsy, where I make and sell rapid deployment paracord items like that. This bracelet of mine is 7 feet, although I make them in 10 foot and 15 foot versions, even, that are actually about this size, just slightly. You know, I'm doing demonstration videos on those at some point, but I might as well bring one out so that I can show you that right now. There's going to be a little cut in here. There we go. That is a spine coil. And you see, they're pretty close in size. All right. Um, or, if you wanted to support the production of the videos in a direct fashion, where you know that your upvote is going to videos, consider vi supporting me on Patreon, the voluntary subscription service. There are details about that if you follow the link to my Patreon page or into the video where I discuss that, which you can also find on the Patreon page. But if you don't want to leave YouTube, there's a link locally right here. All right. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you share this video around to people who might have use for this kind of thing.